Right, I'm going to show off a guide on how to shell hyperspin to Windows 10. Some versions of um, Windows 10 won't shell using instant sheller. So this is just a quick and easy simple guide to get you started. Um, once you've configured all your hyperspin and then you've set hyperhq to um, shut down hyperspin on exit. Um, then you just run instant sheller go to browse direct it to hyperspin.exe um, you do need a bat file so I'll show you that now um, what you need in D drive arcade is just create a bat file um, basically if you don't know how to create a bat file, if you have one which is usually in the hyperspin folder, the arcade folder, just copy one of these here, copy and paste, then rename it hyper with a capital H, then spin with a capital S. Um, it doesn't have to be named that, but it's just easy to know where it is and um, get the spelling and everything correct. And it's easy when you come to shell it telling it to boot on start up you've just got to change the .exe to bat so you edit that and you just type in start space d drive arcade slash hyperspin .exe so once you've typed that in just give it a give the bat file a run to make sure it is running correctly and um, it'll take a couple of seconds to load So once it's loaded, just skip that because I've got it the set set to shut down on exit. I've got to alt and F4 out of that. So once I've you've come out of that, just direct it back over the instant sheller. Make sure you've set it to D drive arcade hyperspin.exe. I always remove replace remove the replace cursors with dots because I like the semi cursor. When I come back out the menu, it gets difficult to try and navigate through the system. Um, the rest of the stuff I leave ticked, um, other than change shell of current user, um, sounds and everything. Click I'm ready to do it. Once that's done and click OK, just go and restart the system you just wait a few moments when the system starts you'll have a black screen um, and then we'll go ahead and change some reg um, registration edits If you wish there is software there um, that you can change all the background themes and stuff on boot and um, other stuff like that. So now it's booted. I'll just put the camera around my neck a moment. <clears throat> just while I control alt delete on the keyboard, go down to task manager. Now you can go straight into regedit if you wish, just go file, run new task and type in regedit. If you want to go back to the Windows um, operating system desktop, type in explorer.exe and OK that. It'll bring back your desktop. Um, this is great for whenever you want to add new games to Hyperspin or um, remove content or anything like that do general controller edits so on task manager just click file run new task and then go to reg edit and um, type in reg edit that's it one word okay that now um you need to direct yourself to computer HK Local Machine, Software, Microsoft, Windows NT, Current User, Win Login. 
and then once you've accessed that folder which make sure we clicked on win login you just move over the shell and as you can see it says D drive arcade hyperspin.exe you just click modify and then because you renamed um, that bat file to hyper spin with a capital H and um, you just delete the exe and rename it bat it's as simple as that ok that close down the registry editor close down your task manager and simply restart the machine this is our Street Fighter 2 custom bar top and this is going up for sale I've just done a previous video on this unit and um, it's beautiful beautiful custom dust covers and um, it has some really nice custom grills it has these multicolored bowl tops which is like a blue underneath with a purple on top it really matches this unit well so just wait and there you go it's as simple as that I did do a previous video on shell and hyperspin on Windows 10 and um, it was a bit more in depth than this um, and it, this is the easiest method so easy you don't run into any issues if you just follow how I've um, done it